Hi everyone, Amanda here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making slim like cards using only dies. I'm sorry I didn't get to make a proper introduction. I didn't have time because I'm posting a bit earlier to join the Simon Says Stamp blog hub for December. So every December, Simon Says Stamp releases a collection of only dies uh, called December, and here you can see some of the amazing products that you're going to find in the collection. I am not going to be using all of this, of course, I just wanted to show you because I really like it. And here are the things that I'm planning to use. I won't use every single thing in the end, but this is what I was planning to use today. And uh, also, they released a envelope, an envelope die to make slimline card envelopes, which is great because we are all making more of these cards now. So by the end of the video, I will show you how to make an envelope with that die because it took some trial and error for me. So I thought I will show you how to do it. So if you're interested, that will be by the end of the video, but that's only when I finish all the cards. So anyway, what I'm doing here is I chose three colors of cardstock and I took the strips one and strips two die dice and I just cut lots of stripes as you can see and now I'm going to be creating um, the backgrounds for my slim light cards. Once I was done with the backgrounds, I realized that it didn't go very well with the slim light card size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my slim light card, which means in the end it's not really a slim light card, but something in between. So uh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you don't have to follow a standard measures for your cards. You can make your cards any size you want. And these cards are almost going to be slim like cards and they're definitely going to fit on in a slim like card envelope. So no problem there. Okay, so base cards are ready. Now I'm going to bring a bunch of die cuts, arrange them and glue them to the cards. And after that, as a final touch, some sequence. As always, all the supplies will be listed below the video and in the first comment, you will find a link to the visual supply list. If you decide that you want to buy something, which you don't have to, but if you do buy something and you do it through my links, then I will get a small commission at no cost to you. That helps me very much keeping my channel going. So thank you for that. And also this is a blog hub. So if you go over to my blog, you have the link also below the video. You can participate in a giveaway and also visit other blogs where you will find a lot of inspiration.
And that's how these cards look like with no stamping, no inking, no coloring, just die cuts. And now let me show you how you can make an envelope for them using this die. So this die is longer than your standard die cutting machine platform, which is really not a problem, but I wanted to show you just in case you freak out when you see it. You just need to die cut one part first, then turn it around and die cut the other part without moving the die, of course. And that's it. It's really easy. Now there are two parts to this die and you need to die cut the smaller one twice as you can see here. It also comes with score lines so once you have all three parts you can start folding on those lines. But here's a trick, you need to keep into account there is a certain position for those shorter die cuts or smaller die cuts. I thought both sides of that die cut were the same but they're not. So before you glue it to the bigger part, uh, you need to make sure they are in the right position. Otherwise, this is going to happen to you and then you need to change it because it doesn't fit. And here's how I fixed my mistake. I wanted to show you so you don't do the same thing. So I hope you liked it and you found it useful. And I also hope to see you by my blog because as I said, there is a giveaway there. Thank you so much for watching, here you have a couple more videos you might be interested in watching and also you can become a subscriber if you want. If you do so and even if you're already a subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything I post. Have a wonderful day and see you again soon, bye!